Let's differentiate here e to the tangent of x. So you're going to go by the chain rule. So the inside is tangent and then e is the outside. So you're first you're going to copy it e to the tangent of x. And then you're going to set up the, the multiplication by the derivative of the inside, which would be this. And that's going to give you e to the tangent of x. The derivative tangent of x is just secant squared of x. And that's the answer, quick enough. And the next one is going to copy it directly at first. So e to the cosine of x gets copied. And then you multiply by the derivative of cosine of x. So it's going to be e to the cosine of x and then... Here it's going to be negative sine of x. There's a negative present, put that out front then. So negative sine of x, e raised to the cosine of x this way. For the next one here, again, same principle, e to the secant of x, multiply here by the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of the secant of x here is going to give you the following then, e to the secant of x, and then the derivative of secant of x will be tangent of x, and then here secant of x this way, and that's the answer. For the last one, you're going to have to use the chain rule twice. So again, it's going to copy e to the tangent of 2x this time. Multiply by the derivative of that tangent of 2x. And then it's going to be here the following. e to the tangent of 2x. The derivative of tangent of 2x would be the following. Secant so squared of 2x. But see, this 2x is another function. It's not just x, it's 2x. So that means you got to multiply by the derivative of the 2x this way. So at the end, the derivative of 2x is just 2. That can go out front. So you end up with 2, and then e raised to the tangent of 2x, and then here secant squared of 2x, and that is the answer. Please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you. I'll see you in another video.